which you can count on continues. Tonight at 8 on your side, consumer investigation. Years may go by before you need the services of a professional locksmith, but when you do, one group wants you to be careful. Having someone help you get into your home or car could also allow them to get into your wallet. Here's consumer reporter Brian Roach. You're locked out of your house. Your keys are inside. You're in a desperate situation. So you go to a neighbor's house and get your hands on a phone book to look for a locksmith. If they have a situation where they're locked out of their vehicle or their home, they're going to grab a phone book and they're going to go for the biggest, most colorful ad. And in our local phone books, there are now a lot of colorful, full-page ads for locksmiths, some of them claiming the company employs master locksmiths. I think it's deceptive because the, these people are not locksmiths. They're this group of Lancaster County locksmiths say they have been expecting these ads to start appearing locally. They've been hearing about them in other parts of the country for years. They list different um, phone numbers in their ad, making it sound like they're in different local communities when they're not. It's just a phone bank where somebody answers the phone. The ads show phone numbers and list various communities throughout the Susquehanna Valley. Letting people think that these locksmiths are actually in that, this area or they're actually calling a locksmith in this area when they're actually just calling a phone bank. These locksmiths say the ads are misleading and deceptive. And apparently the state attorney general's office thinks so too. Last October, the AG filed a lawsuit against one of the companies behind these ads, Always in Service Incorporated. The suit accuses the company of using more than a dozen phony business names, more than 300 telephone numbers and different ads to mislead consumers into believing they're calling local businesses. Here is... A1A. Some locksmiths say they have found fake addresses in some of these ads. At 4320 Frankfurt Avenue in Philadelphia, you will find a locksmith, American Lock Service. But if you look in the phone book, you'll find another locksmith with a different name at the very same address. They create all that. They allow to get people on their book with actually my address. Jimmy Armanakis says he's been at this location for almost 30 years. He found out that his address had been hijacked by A1A locksmith when a customer came in with a receipt looking for keys they ordered. The receipt had his address, but not his phone number. I know it's a locksmith of 4225 Avenue. That's the number we call. The number is right here. And I tell him, listen, call that number, and if that number rings here, I get you the keys. News 8 decided to go to the actual address for Always in Service, the company being sued by the Pennsylvania Attorney General. It's this small brick building along Old York Road in Abington, PA. There are no signs indicating what's inside, but the Attorney General's lawsuit alleges that this is where the company's hundreds of telephone lines all lead to. After we asked to speak to somebody, it just so happened that the company's attorney was in the building, and he came out to talk to us. And their head is not misleading? I don't believe the ad is misleading. We asked to be allowed in the building and were denied. I'd like to ask you again about the local phone numbers. Local phone numbers appearing in Lancaster phone books, York phone books, appearing that the, the business local is local. numbers are for the convenience of the consumer who does not have long distance uh, telephone numbers. Then the attorney admitted that there really is no locksmith in any of the communities listed in their phone book ads. The fact of the matter is he's nearby. He's sitting in a parking lot at the Dunkin' Donuts nearby, and he's dispatched over to you. He's dispatched almost at a drop of a hat, and he comes in within a very short period of time. Do this you have really certified master locksmiths? You know what it is? It's really a matter before the courts. The allegations against this company go much deeper than misleading ads and telephone numbers. According to the Attorney General's lawsuit, when consumers called this company and asked them to show up and open a door or a lock, they're quoted one price on the phone. But when the company actually shows up, the price goes up a lot. These Susquehanna Valley locksmiths say they can tell you over the phone what it will cost to open a door or make a key. And then when they go out, they, they have these additional charges. They say, well, we cannot perform this task, so therefore it's going to cost more to, to drill it. Here's what the company attorney had to say about the alleged price changes that occur when a technician shows up. Many times technicians will arrive in a location they are unable to determine via a telephone call that you made how much that call will be. Now, you might think this is a case of sour grapes. The local guys just don't like the competitions. But the local locksmiths that we talked with say they are not concerned about losing business to these companies. They say emergency services, like getting someone into a locked building or a locked car, only makes up about 10 to 15 percent of their business. They say their concern is for consumers who may be overcharged and have their car or home damaged by someone who does not know what they are doing. We need to add the company that we talked to has filed a legal response to the lawsuit filed by the Attorney General. They deny 
deny all of the claims. The lawsuit is not scheduled, though, until this fall, until this November. So we'll have to follow the case, let you know what happens. I know you'll be there. Thank you, Brian. Okay.